working on a, a school cleanup campaign. But for more on this now, let me welcome members of uh, the board, Frank Molia and Benita Sisi. Good afternoon to both of you. Thank you so much for coming through and happy Mandela Day. Thank you. Happy Thank Mandela Day to you too. So how have you guys spent the day, Frank? Today we were at the school. We donated uh, packs of sanitary towels to the learners. We handed over to the school management. We also went around the school to do assessment of the work that we will be doing over the weekend on Saturday. All right, so you're starting already on Saturday with the work? Yes. What exactly will, will you guys be doing? Today, the members who went to the school, they just did a little bit of an assessment to see what the work that requires to be done is. And we have done just a small apportionment to say it's a big elephant. We are going to take one bite at a time. Mm -hmm. So we will be embarking on the cleaning campaign on Saturday. All right. So I know that the school was established in 1964. It is how old? 66 years old? Yes. Yeah. So, But how many members do you have now, the alumni that you have that you've been able to get in touch with? Um, based on the statistics that we have, we have almost 347 students. For now? For now, who are part of this. On a daily basis, there are students who are joining us, former students who are joining us to be part of the program. It's a continuous kind of a program which we're doing on daily basis. Mm -hmm. Yes, on Saturday we'll be cleaning. Uh, the school we have identified a certain block because the school is too big and the, the job is big. We can't be able to do everything I at once. So we have identified a certain block where we will be cleaning. In that block we will clean and repair some windows which are broken and paint few walls in, in, in several classes. We've also identified the bathrooms, which seems to be a serious challenge, which are not working. We will see uh, who we can get uh, from amongst us as students who are plumbers who can assist to fix those bathrooms. To fix the bathrooms. Yes. And I think one point from your plan of action that really caught my attention is um, the establishment of a bursary fund that is aimed at helping uh, the disadvantaged <coughs> learners there. Talk to us about that. The, the, the board has decided that let's form an alumni foundation so that we can be able to raise funds from us as the former students and from whatever organizations that we will be engaging with so that we can have funds and be able to work with the school. It, it, it has been our realization that uh, when we looked at the situation at the school, we thought the school is a fee-paying school but the children who are there, when we asked, when we were engaging with the SGP, we found out that a lot of children are not even able to pay. So the school is battling with the means to ensure that they can be able to cover whatever that they need. Mm -hmm. So we thought, this is our school. We are former students. What can we do to plow back? And we thought maybe let us look at a possibility of doing a bursary fund that we can be able to assist our younger brothers and sisters so that they can all go back to school and be able to achieve something out of their lives. Well, I think it's a beautiful idea. So when are you looking at uh, perhaps starting with that uh, bursary fund? Our plan is that uh, at least by this year, at the end of the metric result, at least we should be able to allocate bursaries at least to two students mm. for them to be able to pursue their studies further than a uh, metric. Yes, in the long run, we want to make sure that uh, we cover more students but we will start small and we will obviously continue to uh, look for more support from other people and be able to assist more students as time goes on. Yeah, and you know, I cannot help uh, uh, but think about the scourge of violence that we're seeing in our schools now. Uh, learners are attacking one another, stabbing and shooting one another. and. Is there a plan uh, really for the board or the alumni to really look into this issue of violence? How do you think you can best contribute uh, towards the, 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 the fight uh, against the schedule of violence? Education and training is a very important aspect of our life, especially for the young people. So we have taken a discussion to say, what is it that we can do? Amongst us as a team, there are different professionals. So we have uh, looked at a possibility of from the group that we can have some motivational speakers to go to the school to say, look, I'm Benita Sisi, I've studied here. Mm -hmm. This is wh where I am in life and you can also get there, but you need to focus. 
and just to assist them to say, this is your school, this is your education, love it, own it, and do something about it. Yeah, I think I had some uh, guests a few weeks ago who were basically saying the same thing, that us as professionals should go back to our, our former primary schools exactly. and high schools and really talk to these kids because this issue of violence in school is a societal problem yes. that really needs that societal approach. Mm. Yes, it's true. Um, one of the things we're looking at is to maybe try and ensure that we bring back the culture where people uh, adhere to the code of conduct of the school. Uh, over the weekend, there was a parents' meeting at the school. We attended and we, we listened to what the principal was saying. Do they um, even attend in their numbers? Because I think that was one concern from the SGB uh, uh, council previously, saying that our, our people do not attend parents' meetings. Yes, over the weekend we saw several students, uh, several learners who attended, and most parents that attended. In that meeting, the RCL president was there. I managed to can engage with him. As a former student of the school and a former president of that school, when I was engaging with her, she also raised the issue that she's concerned also about the level of uh, violence and disruption that the school is experiencing mm -hmm. uh, from a uh, uh, student. We, we discussed and I said to her, look, um, at some point, it should be one of the issues that we should jointly look at. I don't really have a solution for now, but mm -hmm. I think if we can revive the culture of uh, the code of conduct being implemented and effectively implemented and the RCL leading in that project, that will assist to a certain level. If learners themselves take responsibility, it will make issues to be easy for other people to follow. Mm. So she also said, no, I think that's a good idea. It's one of the issues that we will be engaging them. It's going to be a continuous process. We will try our level best. We will do what we can. And with the support of the parents and the educators, I think we'll be able to do something. Yes, indeed. Now, back to the main theme of the day today. For someone who's watching this and is probably living far away now, but has been a learner at Tembisa High School, how do they get in touch with you? We have created a WhatsApp group. Okay. Already in that WhatsApp group of the Tembisa High School alumni, we, all, we, we have people from... A, uh, Elliot is from he's in Bila Bila uh, not too long ago in the month of June we hosted a reunion where we had a particular activity that we were busy with mm. and through that link that we have created through WhatsApp we were able to get to, to get, get a lot of our right. so former students just get in coming touch with the school and then the school will just uh, make sure that they get in touch with, with we also have a Facebook, Facebook. Page, mm -hmm. page which is the Tempesa High Foundation alumni page Mm -hmm. where people can join and can begin to get information on how to contact or what nice. activities that are happening. All right, I think that's the easiest way. Thank yeah. you so much for coming through. We wish you everything of the best. Uh, Frank Moli and Benita CC, uh, uh, members of the Tembisa High School Alumni Foundation, talking to us about how they plan to do good as part of giving back to uh, their society and their high school. All right, let's uh, go to Peter now.